Armored Core lore, the consorts of Armored Core 3. While history will always paint ravens as the main power in the corporation's war, one must always remember that sometimes these mercenaries of war did not work alone. History. It is here in this timeline of Armored Core 3 where the introduction to consorts begins. These are the mercenaries who had extra firepower to aid the raven's mission or to be used as an unexpected shield against foes. For some ravens to use a consort is seen as a sign of weakness, while others will gladly use it to stay alive that little bit longer. While some of these consorts' history is little more than a box of text presented to the raven, others' tales can be seen by the raven of Armored Core 3, who may or may not have called upon them to aid him during his time, as he came to take out the controller and free humanity from its calculating AI control. To start this report, let us take a look at the few who do not have a large history behind them. Consorts like Dunamis, the female pilot of an MT, named Bermuda, a dark grey painted cavalry MT, described as equipping a dumbed down AC hover mechanism for improved mobility and a powerful energy weapon as its main means of attack. Since armour was sacrificed to preserve mobility, the unit is typically used in a rear guard capacity. She can be hired on the mission's end employee standoff, investigate magna ruins and secure the mine. While she may never advance to become an AC pilot, a raven might be surprised how effective this speedy MT pilot can be as she alone can complete the mission end employee standoff on her own, leaving the raven to simply watch. Another consort like her is Agent, the pilot of Feisty, a black painted gibbon type muscle tracer, equipped with a shotgun and a blade, who again lacks any real history behind him. This consort can be hired on the missions destroy gun emplacements, distract union defences, recover data capsules and investigate magna ruins. However, as a raven might see, this pilot is more a burden than a help, as his lightweight MT does not suit his close combat style of fighting, meaning most of the time this consort will be being downed before too long. However, that said, there are times this pilot can shine, but very little. Mastiff is another consort like the others, with a lacking history behind the pilot of a green fiend type of muscle tracer named Red Hot. It's an MT capable of taking to the air and comes equipped with a pulse rifle and missile launcher, neither of which is proven to be powerful. However, the craft's small size presents a difficult target for foes, and its speed is another factor that makes Red Hot unique. He can be hired on the missions to defend water processors and eliminate the bombers. However, Raven should take caution when hiring this consort, as although its small size may make it a good decoy unit, in combat Red Hot does not last long, as such it is best to consider if this unit is best used as a distraction to foes instead of adding firepower. To finish this sort list, we have Squad 1 and Squad 2. Squad 1 is made up of three fighter jet pilots. They are described as a close-knit squad of three pilots. Their jets are fast but easily damaged if hit. They go after targets using textbook approach tactics, unleash their missiles and then disengage. They function well as a team. This is true and will focus on engaging flying foes for the Raven. However, their low health and lack of protection from ground-based foes that they can lock onto them make them an easy team to pick off, especially when they separate from their formation. Squad 2 is made up of three helicopter pilots, who are described as a close-knit squad of three pilots. Their helicopters are highly maneuverable, but easily damaged if hit. Each one is equipped with machine guns and rockets that enable them to cause a lot of damage when working together. In truth, these pilots seem to do better than Squad 1 in their teamwork, and do stick together to attack foes. However, reports will vary between jobs, and in the end, it will be up to a Raven to decide if he needs this team, as while they can last longer than the Jets, of Squad 1, they still can be shot down by foes with lock-on. Let this report now focus on consorts with some history. We shall start with Coldheart, an MT pilot working for the Kess Corporation, who pilots a woodland camouflage Moor-type MT named The Sun. This muscle tracer, armed with a front-facing rifle and rocket launcher, can be hired as a consort on the missions Defend the Monorail, End Employee Standoff, and Secure the Mine. However, a raven may want to take caution when hiring Coldheart, as his MT is described as an inexpensive unit popular despite both mobility and durability problems. Each of these mass-produced MTs is equipped with a rifle and rocket launcher and are most effective when bunched in small groups. The issue is Coldheart is not part of a group, simply one single unit. As such, the Raven will have to provide the support to keep this pilot alive, otherwise he is a rather easy target for any foe, including the Rebellion workforce. Yet perhaps one's early impressions should not be taken too lightly, for in the mission Defend Rugen Lab, should Coldheart survive the battle with the controller controlled armoured core, then he may pass the Raven's test and become a Raven himself with an AC 
with the same name as his old MT, The Sun. His bio, as a raven reads, formerly an MT pilot working for Crest. His journey to become a raven has been both long and arduous. He is getting accustomed to piloting an AC, but his frontline experience and instincts are top notch. He is expected to do well, and well he may do this, depends on who you ask, as his armoured core, the sun, shares a lot of similarities to his old, more type MT. For one, it is a reverse joint bipedal model, and the same as his old MT, and comes equipped with the CAW DBS-48 bazooka rams and the CWR Hector rocket launcher. One could say Coltart could not leave his lightweight and powerful MT build behind, as while his armoured core can pack a punch and move a lot better than his MT, the Sun here suffers from being lightly armoured, meaning unless Coldheart uses his speed well, he will be put on ice faster than his ammo can run out, another problem this armoured core suffers from, especially when he tries to aim for airborne foes. Should a Raven wish to try the Sun out in battle, its part list will be displayed on screen now. Next is Huntress, the pilot of a Red Gibbon type MT named Rouge. It is equipped with a shotgun and blade, however it is noted that while Huntress uses a close combat style, she is equipped with a high power performance booster that allows her to close in on her foes faster than the factory version of the Gibbon MT. It is also noted that her piloting skill is what compensates for this muscle trace's poor defences. And a raven can see this in action in these missions, where she may be hired as a consort, but again, Reports vary between jobs on her performance. With such skills, however, it's no wonder then that after the Raven completes the mission Recover Ship Cargo, that he will receive an email from Huntress which reads, Just a quick heads up to let you know that I finally made the move from MT to AC pilot. My new unit is a well-rounded and operates flawlessly under a various of different mission conditions. I look forward to fighting alongside you, Raven. Until then. Her pink new AC keeps her old MT's name, Rouge, and retains a laser blade on her left arm. However, what is new is Huntress now ditches her shotgun and now uses the MWG XCW90 laser rifle, the MWC OG15 orbit cannon, and the MWEMA50 anti missile system extension. All these certainly put a lot of energy use on her MGP VE905 generator. But as a Raven will see, Huntress is still quite mobile despite the AC's high energy use and has only improved in her skills in close combat, making her quite the pilot. In fact, her bio shows this reading. She firmly believes that once a mission has been accepted, the pilot is obligated to complete it no matter what. She hasn't been a raven for long, but her mission success is perfect, and she is high in demand because of this. A highly skilled raven, and according to the report, seems to have great respect for the raven of Armour Core 3 with how she speaks to him. How perhaps what she will be known for most is her betrayal in the mission Investigate Magna Ruins, where she is assigned to work with the Raven by Mirage. However, in the end, she turns on the Raven she is said to respect so much because he wishes to destroy the controller. It seems she, like others, have a strong belief in the controller's rule, as such, did not want to see the Raven stop it. For any Raven wishing to test out the armor core Rouge, the parts list will be displayed on screen now. Next on this list of consorts is Scylla who pilots a quadrupled form MMT named Delta. Its bio reads, this MT design emulates that of a quad-legged AC. It's specifically constructed for ground warfare and is both quick and agile. Given its lack of armor, the unit performs best when partnered alongside others. Armed with a pulse cannon, Scylla can be hired as a consort for these missions, end employee standoff and secure the mine. Yet as Delta's bio suggests, this MT will require a partner as it lacks armor making it an MT quick to fall to the hands of hard-hitting foes. The only real change that makes Scylla fall into this more history area is the fact that after the mission recovers ship cargo, the Raven will get an email from Scylla about him becoming a Raven. Scylla AC retains his MT's name Delta, and again, much like Coldheart, seems to be able to let go of his MT roots, as his armoured core is a mobile quad leg type and has traded his energy weapons for the solid shell machine gun arms CAW DMG 0204. His skills in battle vary between reports, but should a Raven wish to try out the AC Delta, its parts list will be on screen now. Finally, we come to our last notable consort who went from MT pilot to Raven. This would be Spartan, piloting the Suktum M type MT named Tempest. This MT is described as a well armored unit designed to set stand up to an AC. In addition to heavily armor plating, it's equipped with a shield used for deflecting incoming rounds. It can't fly, 
but moves quickly enough for most purposes. This bazooka equipped MT can be hired as a conduit of these missions, and while the MT Tempest can behold its own, however due to its slow speed it can easily be outnumbered, as such a raven should keep an eye on Spartan if hired. Again like Scylla, the only thing that puts Spartan on this list is his advancement to become a raven after the mission Bomb Disarmament. His AC, like the other pilots, carry over its Tempest name, and again Spartan seems to not be able to let go of his MT ways, as his AC Tempest is a tank-legged armoured core armed with the CWG MG500 machine gun, the KWG HZL30 spreadshot Hauser, and the MWX Lanzar dual missile launchers. A powerhouse of an armoured core, his new Raven bio enforces this statement reading, the pursuit missiles mounted on this AC shoulders are more for show than anything else, and his opponent's time is better spent worrying about what he intends to do with their machine gun. His AC is heavily armoured, and therefore slow. Should a raven wish to try out the AC Tempest, its parts list will be on screen now. This sends the report on the consorts found in Armored Core 3. A disorder unit? 